I'm here with a different uh, different PC. This one is a, form, a small form factor PC from Dell. This is an OptiPlex 3050. Based on your request, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it a little faster, actually much, much faster, by adding an extra SSD drive on it and removing the mechanical drive. There are two ways of adding. So let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna remove the only one screw that they uh, provide at the back by hand or by screwdriver, just loosen it up. And the screw will not come out, so don't try to pull it out. It just has to hang there loose. And next, you wanna hold it from the bottom and then push this trigger inward. And the cover should come out pretty easy. And right away, you're gonna see the hard drive, which is in this uh, tray, caddy, or whatever you wanna call this. I call them caddy. So actually they give you instruction how to do it. To remove the hard drive, you have to pull these two triggers inward and then slide it toward the out front of the lap uh, PC, just like that. And then you can just go ahead and lift up the hard drive with a caddy. Now, you can grab the new SSD drive. I don't have SSD laying around, so the SSDs are the same form factor. Grab the new SSD. There's no screw on this one. We have to pull these triggers apart and the hard drive will come out. Grab it in the same position that you took it. You have to place your SSD drive right there and pull it. So make sure this sticks go right where the screw set goes, just like that. Just for a demonstration, I was gonna show you guys this. So in my, this is one way you can do it. Put your SSD, regular SSD SATA drive in there. Or you can keep this one as an extra storage and get yourself an NVMe M.2 SSD. They use an M.2 SSD right here, so you can, I'll leave the link in the description. Get yourself an M.2 SSD, place it right over there, and all the way in 45 degree angle, and stick it right in there, okay? And you have to put a screw right there. They use a really small screw. I'll leave the link in the description where you can buy the screw set for M.2s. And then you can actually install the operating system in here and use the other one for your secondary storage unit. Okay. That's how you can upgrade. Also, you can add an extra Wi-Fi board right here. If you can buy a Wi-Fi board, you can install it right on this one. So this is M.2 SSD drive slot right here and Wi-Fi slot right there. Or you can do this one. So you have two choices, SSD SATA or M.2 SSD right there. And you keep this one as a second storage. All right, let's say whatever modification you did, you put it there one there or change the new SSD. You want to put it in offset position just like that. And then you want to push it towards the contact right there and you're going to hit the click there and also remember if you want to do whichever change you want to do you i'll leave the link in the description where you can go to the windows website microsoft website download the iso for the windows and it will automatically burn it into a usb stick that you have connected and all you have to do plug in the usb stick power on press f12 and choose the USB stick and follow the simple instruction to install your new system. Okay, and the last thing will be to grab the top cover, place it over with an offset position, and then slide it toward the back and hand screw the lock on the back here. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked and helped you guys out, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys subscribe, it will help and motivate me to make more video for you guys and take requests. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.